Hi, this is Vanessa with Designs by Vanessa. Today's tutorial is on crochet ribbing. So here I have three different um, samples that I've made using three different stitches. This first one I made with um, just slip stitches. So this ribbing is made from slip stitches. And this next one I worked um, with single crochets. So this is uh, worked with just single crochets. And then finally, we have this half double crochet ribbing um, that I, I actually use this one the most. So as far as stretch, the slip stitch ribbing has the most stretch. And then the single crochet has a little bit of stretch. And then the half double crochet ribbing has the least. So we will get started with um, the slip stitch ribbing. So you want to work a slip knot and grab your crochet hook and insert it into the loop. And you can chain any number of stitches, but I'm going to chain eight for this tutorial. Okay, so now you want to work in the second chain from the hook. So this is the first chain and this is the second chain. So that's where you want to work your first stitch. So insert your hook into the second chain from the hook, yarn over, pull up it through and then through the loop on your hook. Okay, so that's how you work a slip stitch. So into the next stitch work another slip stitch insert your hook yarn over pull it through and then through the loop on your hook okay so just continue working one slip stitch all the way across All right, I'm working my last slip stitch into my last chain stitch. Okay, so now you want to chain one and turn. So turn your work. Now with the slip stitches, sometimes it's hard to tell where you need to insert your hook um, because if you look around, it looks like there are stitches in every, every side. So this is the chain one stitch and this is the top of your stitches. This is the front. So pay attention to the chain one stitch and that's where you should be working your stitches. So into the first stitch, you are going to work through the back loops. This is normally how you work a stitch through both loops. Okay, so for the ribbing to take effect, you want to go through the back. This is the front loop right here. And then this is the back loop. So we will work our stitches into the back loop. Okay, so through this back loop, you want to work your first slip stitch. And then through just the back loop of the second stitch, you want to work another slip stitch. So go ahead and work one slip stitch in every stitch through the back loop all the way across your work. All right, so this is what it looks like, okay? So that's basically what you want to repeat until you get the size you want. So you would chain one and turn your work again. And see right here, if you don't slightly turn, um, you can easily work in the wrong stitch. So right here, that's my chain one. So if you just turned, you might think you have to work into one of these loops, but actually you have to turn it slightly and work through the back loops uh, the back loop of the stitches on the top. So repeat row two until desired height. OK, 
Okay, so I finished my slip stitch ribbing sample. Here's a beanie that I used um, this ribbing for, and it's actually super bulky yarn. This is my crochet big heart slouch beanie. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So now we can start on the single crochet ribbing. So the process is pretty much the same. You're just working different stitches. So you want to start with a slip knot and chain any number of stitches. And you want to work into the second chain from the hook. Work your first single crochet and into the next stitch. Work your second single crochet. Okay, so you're just working one single crochet into every chain stitch across all the way to the end. Okay, so let's start row two, chain one, and turn your work. And again, we are going to be working just in the back loop right there. Okay, so the back loop, insert your hook into the back loop and work your first single crochet into the back loop of the second stitch, work another single crochet and into the back loop of every stitch all the way across, work one single crochet. Okay, so you want to keep track of your stitch count um, if you're a beginner so that you have the right amount of stitches. So repeat row two by chaining one and working into the back loop of every stitch, working single crochet stitches all the way across. Okay, so this is my crochet fair isle beanie. I used um, the single crochet stitches to work the ribbing. So this is what it looks like. And this is both uh, using worsted weight yarn. All right, so now let's start on the half double crochet ribbing. Again, it's pretty much the same, just using half double crochet stitches. So start with a slip knot and then just chain any number of chain stitches. All right, so we are still working in the second chain from the hook. That's the first, that's the second. So to work a half double crochet, you want to yarn over, insert your hook into that second chain, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, again, yarn over into the next chain stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. All right, so just continue to work half double crochets into every chain stitch all the way across to the end. Okay, so row two. You want to chain one and turn your work and again we are working in the back loops or the back loop so this is going through both we want to just go through the back loop okay you should be quite an expert by now working into the back loop <laughs> so yarn over insert your hook through the back loop okay through the back loop pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's completing your half double crochet stitch. Yarn over through the back loops of the next one. Pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Again, yarn over through the back loop, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through all three loops. So continue that across.
All right, so I do recommend keeping track of your stitch count if you are a beginner, as I mentioned, um, just so you have the right stitch count. All right, so repeat row two, working half double crochets into the back loop until you are happy with your size. All right, so this is my latest design. This is the rippled slouch beanie and I used the half double crochet ribbing for this beanie. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And I do have a tutorial and free pattern for this beanie. I will leave the link in the description box. Okay, so I also wanted to show you, um, this is the single crochet ribbing. Um, the, this top one is bulky yarn and this bottom one is worsted weight. So, as you can see, it's a bit thicker in the bulkier yarn, of course. And for the bulky yarn or super bulky, I don't like to use anything more than the single crochet. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.